Hello YouTube, how are you today? Um, today I'm going to have a partial sketchbook flip. I'm about um, one half done in, um, in this particular notebook. This is a Fabriano uh, watercolor uh, sketchbook and um, I switch sketchbooks a lot. Uh, sometimes I work in a watercolor moleskin. Uh, sometimes I do uh, just sketching. So sometimes it takes me a little while to get done with a particular sketchbook. So this sketchbook I started last year on um, on Thanksgiving Day. And uh, some things are from life. Some things are from the internet. Uh, some things are from um, you know, uh, pictures and, and whatever. So let's get started. Um, I got this notebook. This is a very, very nice notebook for uh, watercolor. Uh, it takes uh, inkwell and, um, and, you know, no bleed through. It is definitely watercolor paper. And so I used a variety of different uh, medias in, in here, but mostly watercolor. So let's get started. First of all, I um, it's got a nice little flyleaf page, uh, um, paper pattern paper. I always leave my uh, blank first sheet blank so I can, you know, put a title, the dates that it encompassed, anything else, any kind of decorations. So I'll show you that when um, I get the sketchbook finished. My first uh, page. I always like to watch the now that I'm. Um, almost a retired person and I don't have a big family to cook for it's just me and my husband um, I get to watch the Thanksgiving Day Parade for Macy's and I usually try to sketch one of the uh, floats uh, every year on TV and um, so this year was Hello Kitty I, I enjoyed um, buying Hello Kitty stuff for my granddaughter so that was that Next, we all we skipped the whole month. I was making cards, handmade cards during this time, so I was very very busy doing that. I used something called Twinkling H2Os, and to do this picture, and I don't know if you could see it. I'm going to turn on another light. Ooh, but it's got a sheen to it. I don't know if you can see that or not, but these watercolors are just beautiful. I am really looking forward. I haven't pay, played around with them too much this year since I've been working so hard on doing my um, figure drawing. Uh, I'm going to shut off the light. Um, I've been working so hard with my figure drawing. I haven't gotten a chance to play around with them, but they are just beautiful. I really um, enjoy working with them. They come in little pots. And um, and you spray them just as if you would. Uh, they don't come in this little case. This had a a, uh, a uh, video in it on how to give a shot uh, from one of my husband's medications. But they come in a little pot and uh, a little jar like this, and um, you spray the the jar or the contents and um, and let let it get really nice and and, uh, and soft and they just they just flow really really beautiful on um, the the paper I want to get more of these this was a set that I got from Hobby Lobby and it was really cheap it was half off I think it was the romance set and uh, I will put a link to Amazon below because I know they sell them there and um, it was uh, it was just a really good deal. Um, caution though to uh, not mix mix them with your uh, regular watercolor paints. Uh, if you you can um, uh, transfer the little mica chips to your regular watercolor paints and make them twinkling H two O. So just so you know, don't do that. Uh, what I do is I just use a specific brush and a specific palette for them and if I wanted to use regular watercolors I'll take those out and my palette out first and then I'll, I can put the twinkling H2O's over it. Here's just a little silly picture. I was uh, playing around with my Tombos and um, my Tombow markers and so I uh, just did this page in, in that. 
And here is uh, some of the things that uh, I did for Christmas, The one of the ornaments, and my husband got me a mannequin to uh, draw from, so for my figure, for figure drawing. Um, here's a pileated woodpecker. He's just huge. This, this uh, little case here is uh, probably about eight inches um, long, so he's probably a foot. And um, just so beautiful to see him in the wintertime uh, at our feeders. So that was a lot of fun. Um, this page I did in Copic markers. I got a bunch of those too for Christmas. So um, uh, I enjoyed doing that as we watched Dick Clark uh, rock on New Year's Eve. And um, since this is watercolor paper, Copics, this is it's an alcohol-based marker. I thought it turned out really well, except for my champagne glass is kind of crooked. Um, but look at the back of it. It's like the ghost image, and you know you can see the bubbles that I put in here with the little clear alcohol marker. So I thought that was pretty cool. So, but Copics do bleed through things. Um, Here's a drawing I did with uh, some colored pencils. We have a little evergreen tree behind our house and it has holds houses um, oodles and oodles of, uh, of animals every year. Uh, just one little tree and we got a chance to see this this uh, little bird and, and it was very cold so uh, he was all fluffed out to keep himself warm. So that was that was fun to you know sketch him as he was sitting outside. I was not outside. I was by my inside watch looking out the window. Uh, someone from my office gave me a bunch of hydrangeas, and uh, so that's what I do. I have to paint them before they die. Um, sometimes when you feed your the birds, other things come around, and this was a little bunny that uh, also lives underneath the tree and I got a chance to sketch him with pencil. You can see how nicely uh, the pencil takes and I believe that part of this was uh, was water soluble graphite as well as uh, regular pencil. Um, I started uh, Danny Gregory's uh, sketchbook school and this was all the way, look at it, it went from June or January all the way to July oh so that I didn't use this book so this was from the summer and I did the seeing uh, class which was the second one um, here's little bluebirds behind our house and uh, we got a chance to see it was on July 4th and we got a chance to see them fledging their young and they lure them out of the house uh, with food and um, when the little babies drop to the ground, then they kind of hop over to the little uh, evergreen tree or a small tree, and then the parents teach them how to uh, fly. So that was a real treat seeing that, um, seeing that on that day. Here is one of my assignments for sketchbook school. We had to uh, draw our breakfast, and uh, I had a lot of fun with that. I'm not used to doing things with pen first, so uh, I drew and drew it very slowly and carefully. I used a 0.1 micron and a 0.8 micron, and then Winsor Newton watercolors. Here's another um, exercise uh, called slow and fast, and what you're supposed to do is hurry up and just put a a really quick wash down of your object and then um, very fast and then uh, so I got the title backwards so it's supposed to be fast and slow and um, and then after that dries then you go through and draw with your pen uh, very very slowly and it doesn't matter if you if you uh, made a mistake with the fast uh, drawing so it just kind of adds to that and I really um, I did my Midori and uh, my set of keys and I thought that 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 was uh, a lot of fun to do that. Another assignment from the school sketchbook school was uh, to do 
a self-portrait. Now this does not, this kind of looks like me, but not really. It was done looking at myself through the computer camera, so it was kind of weird. And I did it with Caran d'Ache Super Colors, and it's, I'm not used to doing, you know, drawing myself, so um, it, it, uh, it is what it is. Got to, you know, but you, you got to, you know, start someplace. Um, the kids came and uh, my grandchildren came and they went uh, fishing with uh, their uncle. And so that was a lot of fun sketching them on the shoreline. Um, my daughter was doing my granddaughter's hair and she really didn't like sitting there. And so um, I sketched her while she was pouting. Then here's a picture of me done off of a photograph for the sketchbook school. This looks more like me. Um, uh, not, you know, really well, but it still looks, it's more recognizable as, as me. This was done for, from a picture that my husband took of me um, right before we went to see Barry Manilow in concert, and that's why I have my Barry face. I was really happy that day. Here's a, a small watercolor I did off of the shore um, in Lake Michigan. And uh, so we do that a lot. We go around and, you know, I paint. I take my sketchbook or some type of drawing or painting material everywhere I go. Um, also that day we did, uh, drew, I drew some, some uh, birds, some seagulls. They were begging for food, so they made very, very good... Uh, um, sketching subjects. Uh, my future daughter-in-law uh, was here with my son visiting me and uh, she showed me how to do, she was a vegetarian, she showed me very delicious uh, foods and these were some of the leftovers and so I painted it and I think thought of her as I um, was painting and missing them already since they had to leave and go back where they live. Um, also, my friend brought me over a nice jar of, uh, of cherries that she canned and they were delicious, but I had to uh, draw them first. And then I tried to grow some um, herbs, but I'm not very good at uh, growing anything. And so I always try to Whenever I get a plant or anything, I try to paint it first because I know it's going to die. These have been long gone in the garbage, long since gone, but I painted them. Um, next I did a little wildflower study and this turned out to be a real big disaster. I brought the wrong color outside with me and I hated it so I tried to wash it out but this pa paper did not allow to uh, really scrub out well, so it left this faint little um, yellowness. So I went back out the next night, um, determined not to let this page go to waste, and um, I kind of did a fast and slow type of thing that like Danny Gregory um, taught and I went over it and then I did the uh, drawing over that. So then I took a wrecked page and I saved it and that was a lot of fun. And then I painted my hydrangeas for some reason, probably because I do not mess with them, they grow. So the only thing I have to do to make them nice and you know, have a whole bunch of balls on them every year is cut them back in the spring right before, right after the last snowfall. As soon as I can get out there to cut them back, trim them back, then they get all these little balls on them. So that's the only thing I do to them all year, and that's probably why they're still alive, because I don't mess with them. Here's another little uh, wildflower study, and this was at the end of the summer. Um, it looks like August or maybe September. I can't read it. But it was 86 degrees. No, it had to be August. Yeah, August 7th. Um, yeah, and then this is August 10th. This was, um, I got a chance to go and sit out 
in the morning. This was on a Sunday morning and have some coffee and uh, there's the view of the barn where, where we live and somebody was getting ready to ride a horse. So um, I had a nice peaceful uh, morning that I could sit outside and sketch and draw and draw and drink my coffee. And then uh, one night my husband had a meeting and um, and it was, uh, the sun was setting and was by the forest and I hurried up and captured that real quick before it went away. Um, and then I had, the, we went up to the Upper Peninsula uh, State Fair, the UP State Fair, and I got a chance to draw some, um, some animals and I had a really fun time with that. I went to the uh, Miracle of Life building where all the all of the animals are pregnant or having their babies or whatever and that was a really fun time. I just love baby animals. Doesn't everybody? And a couple of cows and then she was in labor and I got a chance to see her calf being born so that was fun. We went out and we ate all sorts of really bad food. Bad for our health, but it was really good. And then here's Labor Day, and the thing I thought about on Labor Day, we have this little man, and he goes and picks up cans along the road that the tourists throw away, and uh, he walks, you know, probably 10 miles a day, and does this, you know, every time we go outside, go out into town on a certain at a certain time, he's always there. So, uh, you know, I congratulated him for being uh, working so hard every day to keep our roads uh, beautiful. Here's another breakfast uh, breakfast sketch. I bought some English muffins and put honey on them and have my yogurt and my wonderful coffee I can't live without. Now here's another sketchbook class. Um, drawing of the from Liz Steele. She draws a lot of teacups. I'm not so good with teacups. I'm not so good with round things. But I tried. I tried to do it. I picked a really hard, difficult subject. This uh, teacup has a, a zillion and one little uh, doodads on it and uh, gold leaf and all that. So, But it meant something to me so that's why I wanted to try to draw it. And, um, and I did it. <laughs> Well, uh, this was done on 921, September 21st, and you know the leaves are already um, almost peaked by this time. And uh, we went over to the state park, and and I painted those one one afternoon. Um, I was using a new uh, a new uh, palette of paints. And I, what I thought were, I had forgotten, you know, where the the color chart was for that. So I started um, painting them, and I I looked up on uh, Dick Black to see what they were, and I was surprised to see what some of the colors were. So I'm going to have to do some color charts out of that because they are, um, you know, it's like out of my comfort zone to use phthalo green. Uh, English Venetian red that's a pretty color I thought it was uh, sepia brown but or brown, um, not sepia but uh, uh, bird sienna and it's not it's a very very different color in fact I should have used that color on these leaves that would have been very pretty but I like these I just have to uh, play with them a little bit more to see what their color combinations do um, this was from uh, my birthday, which just happened on uh, October, middle of October, and my hubby um, gave me a whole bunch of chocolate covered strawberries and cherries, and they were so good. I really enjoyed them, but first I got to paint them. And then uh, my friend gave me some vegetables because she was leaving, and, and uh, so I had to paint those. They were just too pretty not to paint. Um, we went to a uh, wildlife reserve and I brought back some uh, cottonwood tree piece that had fallen on the ground and uh, so I wanted to draw that. I enjoy drawing those 
the fallen leaves. And then this one I did yesterday, and uh, we were at a, a little park um, in a town a little bit north of us, and I had a great time. There were Canadian geese, and um, or Canada geese. I always call them Canadian. That's not right. Canada geese, and there were some wood ducks in the in the water, and they were eating the acorns that were falling off the trees. So. I had a great time doing that. I love painting the fall pictures. Now we go into winter and um, so I'm sure I'll have some more animal pictures for underneath uh, the evergreen tree. So that's my sketchbook about halfway done now and uh, I wanted to do the little flip for, for you and hope you, you enjoyed it. If you have any questions about any of my materials or um, where to buy them, just leave me a comment below and if you enjoy my uh, my video uh, please hit like or subscribe and uh, hope to see you again and um, have a good evening. Bye bye now!